Starting in the name of Allah, the most beneficial and the most merciful. Today we'll be going through basics of double sideband suppressed carrier and double sideband full carrier or the normal AM. But before that, we need to be clear about the concepts of frequency translation in case of Fourier transform. Let's start by uh, talking about frequency translation. Here uh, on top, I have XFT uh, signal in time domain, which is represented in frequency domain like this. As you can see, uh, we have a range of frequency. This is zero. 0 to omega we have frequencies that means uh, we have uh, many number of frequencies it's a multi-tone signal right so for example now uh, in the second signal i'm multiplying it by e raised bar j omega ct into xft the only difference will be same signal will be replicated but it will be replicated at minus omega c here it will be replicated at minus omega c Similarly, if I multiply it by e raised per minus j omega ct xft, the signal will be uh, replicated at plus omega c, right? As you can see, uh, from zero, the distance is uh, to the lowest frequency is omega. Similarly, from omega c, it will be omega up to here. That's why omega c plus omega. Similarly, on the uh, lower side band, omega c minus omega now if i multiply the signal with cos omega ct as i know cos omega ct can be represented by e raised per j omega ct plus e raised per minus j omega ct divided by 2 now if i separate the term this will be xt by 2 into e raised per j omega ct plus xt by 2 into e raised per j omega ct now the thing is that x of t will be replicated but the amplitude which is here x of 0 will now be half halved for example this amplitude this amplitude is half of this amplitude that means x of 0 divided by 2 however the frequency uh, will be same for example j omega ct here also j omega ct omega minus omega c similarly minus omega c plus omega same will be replicated but it will be replicated on this side as well as on this side because now i have both the terms uh, cos omega c t is equivalent to e raised per j omega c t plus e raised per minus j omega c t divided by 2 now if i separate the terms i can write it like this so that means i have to replicate it on both sides but the amplitude will be halved since uh, I have not used the scale. It's not clear, but you have to half it, right? However, the bandwidth remains unchanged. Bandwidth is same as message signal. This is all about frequency translation. Now let's move to double sideband suppressed carrier as well as double sideband full carrier. Now let me take a simple example. I'm taking a signal this is message signal i'm talking about amplitude modulation when i talk about modulation it means changing the characteristics of um, carrier wave carrier wave simply a high frequency wave of constant amplitude which you can see in the wave b constant amplitude and constant frequency a message signal can be anything for example this i have a message signal as you can see it's an irregular signal that means it will have it is not a single tone signal it will have many number of frequencies involved in it now i have to modulate this carrier with respect to this i have to modulate ca carrier wave with respect to my message signal uh, i can modulate it in two basic ways which i'll be talking about double sideband suppressed carrier and the double sideband full carrier for example if i talk about this this is a simple a multi-tone signal between because it's not a regular signal if it's a regular cosine or a sine wave signal it has only one it has only one frequency component since it's not a regular sine or cosine it has many number of components now i have assumed that uh, sorry now I have assumed that the signal contains this is a zeroth line where my uh, mouse pointer is 0 to omega m that means the bandwidth of the signal is 0 to omega m similarly on the uh, 
negative side since uh, there is no concept of negative frequencies but for mathematical analysis we write it but if someone asks us about what's the frequency of the signal we say 0 to omega m or simply omega m to 0 because we only consider the frequencies that are about the zeroth line going back for example m of t right m multi-tone signal i have represented it by simply a triangle that means it contains frequencies from 0 to omega m range going back now i have a frequency now i have another wave called as carrier right carrier wave i've written simply it ac cos omega ct general carrier wave here i have for simplicity i'm taking ac the maximum amplitude as one so i can write it as cos omega ct now uh talking about Fourier transform for example this is ac cos omega ct that means at minus omega c and plus omega c it will have ac divided by 2 ac divided by 2 simply for the reason ac cos omega ct cos omega ct can be written as e raised per j omega ct plus e raised per minus j omega ct divided by 2 that's why ac by 2 and ac by 2 on the plus omega c and minus omega c <coughs> Now simply, when I am uh, the third wave, which is called as double side band suppress carrier, is actually the multiplication of the A and B. Simple multiplication M of T, which is this wave, wave number A, into AC cos omega CT, which is my this wave. Simply I multiply it and I get this type of input. Simply if I talk about, here I have the maximum amplitude of 2, this is 1, 2 into 1 is 2, I have started here with 2, simply now if I talk about point this, this is minus 1, minus 1 and this will be uh, somewhere below for example, this will be 1.8, that means minus 1 into uh, 1.8 will be minus 1.8 which you can see this is this is 2 and this is uh, uh, slightly about 2, that means it will be minus, similarly I replicate this signal from the upper envelope and lower envelope I change it by 180 degree similarly simply I draw the carrier here I get the multiplication of these two signals now if I go to represent in the uh, Fourier spectrum simply what I'll do is uh, multiplying uh, this signal the signal is now like this mt into ac cos omega ct this is mt cos omega ct or mt into ac cos omega ct which is simply message signals for a transform message signals for a transform that is replicated at minus omega c as well as plus omega c as already seen in the frequency translation diagram for example x of t it was here x of t now when i multiplied it by cos omega ct it got replicated at minus omega c as well as plus omega c the only difference was the amplitude was half Similarly, this is the message signal. When I multiplied it by this, I got the same signal, same this, but I got the amplitude that is now halved on both the sides. Now, for example, if someone asks me about what is the bandwidth of this signal, double side band suppressed carrier, which is actually the multiplication of a simple message signal versus a carrier, it will simply be from this point, this point where I'm heading, where my pointer is right now, to this point because now both the frequencies are in the positive domain simply we can see omega c plus omega m this is this point minus omega c minus omega m and which will eventually come to two times omega m that means the amplitude modulated waveform is two times the original message signal the bandwidth of the amplitude modulated waveform is two times the message signal bandwidth Now, when I talk about double sideband, this was double sideband suppressed carrier. Okay, now this is double sideband full carrier. Now, what I do is simply I again write this wave. Okay, I've written this as D. This is the D and B and D are the same waves. I've written at AC cos omega CT as carrier D. Here I was taking uh, AC equals to 1. Okay, now I've written A. Similarly, I've written B and D are same waves. Here also AC is equal to 1. Now I've written it in general form AC cos omega CT. Now this 
wave number A, where my pointer is right now, is actually the addition of uh, wave number D and wave number C. For example, simply here it is 1, the 